To escape the endless cycles of tutorials and truly understand, you need to get the hands-on right code from scratch, try out research papers and work on fun projects that use AI to solve real problems. This learning plan starts with doing and then moves on to the theory. I prefer learning when I need to. If there is a problem to solve or a project to build, I'll search for the information, study it, understand it and put it to practice. For example, I want to be an AI engineer who really knows how large language models work. That means being able to write code for transformers and fine-tune LLMs on GPUs. Right now, I can't do that because there are gaps in my knowledge that I want to fill. This plan is mainly focused on natural language processing, otherwise known as NLP. If you're interested in other areas like computer vision or reinforcement learning, let me know. I can suggest you some resources. But before I overwhelm you with links, there are two most important things I wish someone had told me before I started learning anything. Learning in public is essential, particularly in the field of AI where new breakthroughs occur regularly. The biggest mistake you can make is to learn in isolation. Doing so means missing out an opportunity. Just completing tasks isn't enough. What truly really counts is how you utilize the knowledge gain, tuning it into something meaningful that can be shared with others. It's about generating fresh ideas and solutions from the information. Therefore, it's crucial to learn in public. This involves developing a habit of creating and sharing. It's really important to roll up your sleeves and learn by doing. You should start by creating AI algorithms from scratch, tackling projects where AI can solve real-world problems and mingling with AI community on social media. When it comes to learning, I'd suggest you starting with the big picture and then getting into the nitty-gritty details. A big part of this learning focuses on natural language processing, which is about teaching computers to understand human language. But here's the deal. To really dive into AI, you need a solid math foundation. Think algebra, calculus, probability, and statistics. These are the basics that help you understand how AI and machine learning works. And if you're wondering where to learn all this math, just check out the link in the description. I suggest you some online courses, books, and articles so you can make use of it. When it comes to programming language, I'd prefer you Python. Python programming is a go-to language for diving into AI. So I recommend kicking things off with beginner's course if you're new to Python or jump into something advanced if you got some experience under your belt. The curriculum also covers resources for getting to grips with Python design patterns and best practices. Once you go to handle on Python, the next step is machine learning. I'd suggest starting with concise machine learning book, around 100 pages or so, and then rolling up your sleeves to implement those algorithms from scratch. I'd also suggest you getting involved with AI competitions to put those new profound skills to test. After mastering machine learning, it's time to dive deeper into deep learning. I would recommend starting with fast AI, which takes a top-down approach to deep learning. If you prefer a more traditional route, there is a unique 1450 Deep Learning by Frontier Florent. The curriculum also includes resources for building deep learning algorithms from scratch and understanding the theory behind them. I want to highlight how important learning language models are in AI. I recommend checking out resources to learn more about NLMs like videos, articles, and a paid NLM bootcamp that full stack deep learning released for free. The roadmap also includes resources for building an LLM application for real-world use. You can watch talks by experts like Andrew NG, read insightful blog posts by folks like Hagen Ship, and use the OpenAI cookbook for practical tips. For deeper understanding, I suggest diving into resources like Sebastian Raskia's book, Lil Locke's video series, and a course by CS25 Transformers United. It's crucial to learn in public, share your knowledge, and connect with AI community on social platforms like Twitter. I have included resources to help you stay updated on the latest in AI, such as following AI resources on the Twitter, joining AI Discord servers, and subscribing to AI newsletters. For more detailed explanation, feel free to check out the blog, and if you want to connect, you can find me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Alright, that's a wrap for now, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.